guys, it's been a few weeks since I vlogged. I've been traveling like crazy, but hopefully I'm getting back in the swing of things. Gonna start cranking them back out. Wanted to jam out a real quick video with you. Um, I bought a new lens recently. So uh, I've had the Zoom Crane Plus, this guy here, 5.5 pound capacity. Super pumped about that. You know, I've been running the Canon SL2 with it. And I've been pleased, I'm using the kit lenses wanted some more cinematic stuff uh, bought the 51.8 way too zoomed in with the crop factor so I was like hey I'll buy the Cadillac for a crop sensor vlog cameras the Sigma 18 to 35 I get it I'm so pumped I put it on and no matter how far I slid the camera back BAM BAM then I was destroyed I was like what am I gonna do right we've got a 16 ounce uh, camera body and a 30 ounce lens and no more room to move back. What do you do? You gotta get creative. Saw an Altoid can sitting in my cup holder. Said, hey, let me fill up with some junk and adhere it to the back. Tried a whole bunch of stuff that rattled, made noise. Then a fishing weight, the lead weight thing hit me. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna melt that in a frying pan. Went to Walmart, bought a $5 cast iron skillet, some fishing weights and some strips of Velcro, and I went to it. Um, pretty easy to do, you know, you just got to put the pan on the stove, heat it up, make sure it's a well ventilated area, right? This is lead, you don't want to be breathing that crap in, you don't want to fill your house full of that, make sure your vent fan is running, open some windows and doors. So it melts really fast, just be patient, let that pan heat up, throw the weights in there. Try to get weights that are in half ounce increments because you want to be as prescriptive as possible in what you're melting and what you're pouring into the tin. Make sure you get some type of tin that has a closing top, whether it's a screw on, a snap on, or a hinge one like this little Altoids can. It needs to be pretty decent thickness metal because you don't want it to melt through when you put the lead in there. The thing, good thing is lead cools pretty fast. So, you know, I had to figure out how much lead do I want to put at the rear. I've got, what, about 14 ounces of difference, 16 ounces, 30 ounces. I need to offset this 14 ounce difference from this guy to this guy. So I ended up, you know, using half ounce weights, dropping them in the pan. I ended up melting about 11 ounces of lead, pouring it in there slowly, letting it cool for about an hour. And then, you know, the moment of truth came, guys. I slapped the Velcro on the back of the tin. I put the more abrasive uh, side of Velcro on the back of the tin. I wanted the softer stuff, obviously, on my camera. So when I close my screen, it doesn't scratch it up. So I just threw a couple straps back there. Still closes, all right? And then, bam, put this guy up here. And we're in business, right? So now, it can, it can flip all the way around too. You wanna to make sure you use a can that is not so thick that it obstructs the movement of the camera backwards and forwards. So, I mean, success. I shot a sample video with this last night. It's perfect, it doesn't jitter, shake, doesn't rattle or make any noise. Works, man, and all I have to do is put two straps of Velcro on the back. I think like, all the materials cost me like 20 bucks, right? $5 for the pan. I ended up buying two bags of weights to make sure I had enough. And then the Velcro itself, and I bought a larger roll of Velcro if I need it for other projects. And it's already come in handy. So, if you have a small camera body and a long lens and you wanna balance that, you're gonna have to counterweight it. And this seemed like a pretty awesome solution. It's worked so far. Give it a try. Would you guys do this to your camera? Would you not do it? Do you think I'm crazy for doing that? Because I'm loving the Crank Plus. I mean, the whole rig is uh, only 1,300 grams now. The Crane Plus has a 2,500 uh, gram capacity. So with my 11 ounce 10, 16 ounce camera body and my lens, I'm well under 1,200 grams under the uh, max weight for the Crane Plus. All right, guys, hope you find this tip helpful. Subscribe below. I'm going to review a couple more pieces of gear. I'm actually going to review this gimbal and this camera more in depth. 
because this camera is a rock star, dude. Like, the sensor is the same as the ADD, but it has one gen newer processor. Awesome camera, super light. It's only 16 ounces. I mean, that's mirrorless weight right there, guys, with a flip out screen and has that dual pixel autofocus. So good, so, so good. All right, I'm ranting. Give it a like, let me subscribe. See you next video. Thank you.